everybody, welcome back to the Utini Update, your weekly look at all Star Wars news and Star Wars community news, and this week is the San Diego Comic-Con Spectacular. We're talking all the Star Wars book announcements that happened, there were plenty of them, so you know what, let's jump right into it. Our first set of announcements is a set of announcements that is solving a problem I've seen in Star Wars publishing in the last couple of years. So if you're a fan of The Mandalorian and or Ahsoka and such, you'll notice we haven't had a lot of tie-in material to those shows. Basically, they've kept the story on screen, and while that's fine, I really love tie-in novels for movies like Most Wanted and Rebel Rising, and it turns out the Acolyte is going to start shifting that trend. Because we got multiple books about the Acolyte announced, including the first piece of news, Wayseeker by Justina Ireland. This is an adult novel about Vernestra Rowe. It's going to take place about 20 years before the show, and it'll involve Vernestra Rowe and Master and Dara together. The summary says this will bring Vernestra back to Coruscant after over a decade of being a Wayseeker. Indara and Vernestra are going to be together in the world of Republic politics and underworld crime. Now, this is exciting for a bunch of reasons. Number one, Justina Ireland created Vernestra, but she's never written her in an adult novel before. It's been YA, it's been middle grade, so this is a whole new arena to bring that character. And secondly, Vernestra being a waste seeker is a huge part of the current High Republic books, so knowing that we're going to be able to see a little bit of that time period and kind of see the effects on her and see how that changes her into who she becomes in the show, especially based on what she does at the end of season one, is very exciting. This is the secret book we heard about last week. It comes out on May 6th, so so no better way to celebrate May the 4th weekend than with a new adult novel about Vernestra. The second Acolyte book we heard about doesn't have a title yet, but it's a young adult novel about Yord and Jackie. That's right, Yord Horde is back, everybody, thanks to Tessa Gratton. This book will be coming out on July 29th, and it's about Yord and Jackie in a coming-of-age adventure novel about when they were Padawans. The two of them don't like each other at the beginning, and in typical YA fashion, they become friends throughout it, and we basically figure out how they form the friendship we see on screen, which involves Jackie telling Yord to put his clothes on as he's steaming. I really like both of these characters, and obviously their fates in this show were tragic, so it's really exciting we're going to see them younger, and honestly, I just can't wait for the Yord Horde merch to come back. Love these two characters, and what Tessa does with them is going to be phenomenal. But that's not where the Acolyte love stops because, y'all, we are getting reference books, starting with the Acolyte Visual Guide by none other than the master Pablo Hidalgo. Pablo has been doing these for years with movies, with TV shows, and the Acolyte is following that tradition. Releasing on March 4th of 2025, the Acolyte Visual Guide will give us key characters, locations, vehicles, and tech, all written by Pablo. And if you don't know, this is where they sneak in a lot of in-universe references. Like the Rise of Skywalker one is the one where we found out that Revan could be canon because of a, a footnote on a particular page. So make sure you go ahead and pre-order this if you're interested in more of the Star Wars world building. And we're going to see just how many High Republic references they can fit into the behind the scenes of the Acolyte. And the last piece of Acolyte book news is the art of the Acolyte by by Kristen Baber, the editor-in-chief of StarWars.com and the current master of Star Wars reference books. The art of Star Wars books have been phenomenal for years. The movies really started them with a lot of behind-the-scenes drawings and renderings of what the movies would look like. But we've also gotten them for things like Mandalorian that show how each season has evolved and now we're going to get one for the Acolyte. With all the behind-the-scenes that went into making this show, taking inspiration from the books, taking inspiration from the comics, and building new things about the world, I cannot imagine just how much is going to be in this particular book. And we won't have to wait too long because this is coming out in summer 2025. Now, if you thought that's all that Kristen Baber was doing, you would be wrong because there is a second art of book that she is writing that actually comes out in February of next year, and this is The Art of the High Republic, Volume 2. Now, I know this says cover not final, but this placeholder cover is absolutely gorgeous as we see Avar Chris in freaking battle armor ready to go. Kristen also wrote The Art of the High Republic, Volume 1, which was a huge hit, and we weren't really sure if we were going to get a second volume after Phase 2 kind of came and went. Luckily, this book is confirmed to have both Phase 2 and Phase 3 content. Now, because it comes out in February, it probably won't go through Charles Soule's Trials of the Jedi and finish off the whole initiative, but who knows? Regardless of what's included, the first volume was such a joy, especially since it's books and comics only. Maybe the second one will have a little bit of Acolyte tease, but mostly will be all about the books and comics in Phases 2 and 3. And Kristen, I mean, she writes these so beautifully, so interestingly, so make sure you go ahead and get this pre-order in as soon as you can, because it's coming out in February. February. Now, the last piece of High Republic news we got was a comic by none other than Kevin Scott and Marika Cresta. You may remember that these two are doing the Kelnaka one shot, but it turns out that's not where their collaboration ends. The two of them will be working on the finale of the High Republic comic series with 
Fear of the Jedi. We got this cool cover that shows Key, that shows Lorna D, but also shows, that's right, Kalnaka himself. He'll be featuring in this new series to kind of make a bridge between the comics and the Acolyte show, I'm sure. And if you want to read that one shot this fall before this comic comes out in February, you'll probably get a little bit of connected tissue between the two. And the last book announcement we got was for the art of Star Wars Outlaws. Now there's no wonder the stars of the game were at the panel to talk about the game itself, but we got a little bonus because Dark Horse is gonna be releasing an art of book similar to the ones we just described. Dark Horse has done these with Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, really taking you through the whole design of the game process. We got to see characters like Cal Kestis go from basically characters on a pencil page to full people in the game. And there's no doubt that we'll see all of that for Star Wars Outlaws as well. Whether you want to see more behind the scenes and how they brought Kijimi to life, you want to see more about how Jashar was built, you want to see character designs, it's all going to be in this book. And don't worry, you have plenty of time to play the game because this comes out in June of 2025. All right, as I was recording this, we got new Star Wars book announcements today. I'm going to read a little bit of this and let you guys know, but this is maybe the best thing I could have ever imagined. So today, as we're recording, we got announced a new trilogy called The Reign of the Empire, with three books coming in the next three years taking place after the prequels and before the original trilogy. The first book is called The Mask of Fear by Alexander Freed. That's right, the guy who wrote the Alphabet Squadron trilogy is coming back, and we are getting a political thriller that includes Mon Mothma, Bail Organa, Saw Gerrera, as the Empire is being kind of created. I'm just going to read the summary here to you a little bit. Uh, before the rebellion, the Empire reigned, and in order to ensure the security and continued stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire for a safe and secure society. With one speech and thunderous applause, Chancellor Palpatine brought the end of the Republic crashing down. In its place rose the galactic empire. Across the galaxy, people rejoiced and celebrated the end of the war and the promises of tomorrow, but that tomorrow was a lie. Instead, the galaxy became twisted by the cruelty and fear of the Emperor's rule. During that first terror during that terrifying first year of tyranny, Mon Mothma, Saw Gerrera, and Bail Organa face the encroaching darkness. One day, they will be three architects of the Rebel Alliance, but first, each must find purpose and direction in a changing galaxy while harboring their own secrets, fears, and hopes for a future that may never come unless they act. Y'all, I didn't know what this mystery novel was going to be that was coming in February, but this is it. And we already have a cover. Look at this cover. We have Mon Mothma in the Senate, clearly alone, clearly overwhelmed by the power of the Empire. And Freed does this political stuff so, so well. But he is not writing the whole trilogy. No, we have three different authors. So while Freed's book comes out in spring 2025, spring 2026, we'll bring the second book of the series with Rebecca Rowanhorse, who wrote um, Resistance Reborn, What If My Absolute favorites and then book three will be Fran Wilde who has not written a full length uh, now over Star Wars yet but was in the from a certain point of view Return of the Jedi um, 40th anniversary novel I, <laughs> I am I'm almost delirious thinking about how excited I am about this I, I didn't think we would go back to this era I thought we were gonna go I don't know post Return of the Jedi High Republic this is just political thrillers about forming the Empire and there were in the beginnings of the Rebel Alliance. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about it. Um, let me know if you are as excited about this as I am. Uh, Pre-orders are available now for the first book that comes out February, let's see, February 25th of 2025. So check the link in the description. We'll have that for you. Um, but Alexander Freed is back in Star Wars. Rebecca Roanhorse is back in Star Wars. We are getting a Bail Organa West Wing book. I'm so excited. Now it's not every year that San Diego Comic-Con gives us this many announcements, but I'm so thrilled that this all got announced at the publishing panel. The next year, we now have a pretty full release schedule of books and comics to look forward to. And of course, there can always be more. But let me know in the comments, which of these are you most excited for? I can't wait for them all to come out. Make sure to head to utini.com to get your pre-orders in and keep track of everything that's coming out. Whew, and until next time, may the force be with you.